am I bearing fruit or am I simply wasting the soil like the barren tree? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Saints Louis and Zelie Martin were the first couple to be canonized by Pope Francis on October 18, 2018. Louis was trained to become a watchmaker, and Zelie was a skilled lace maker. Both wanted to enter religious life, but were unsuccessful. They were married in 1858 and were blessed with nine children, though two sons and two daughters died in infancy. The home that Louis and Zelie had nurtured the sanctity of all their children, but especially their youngest, who is known to us as Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. All their surviving daughters entered the religious life, and indeed, the marriage of Saints Louis and Zelie bore much fruit, both in number and in enriching the church with their children's vocation, despite the many challenges they face as a couple and as a family. Father Antonio Sangali, vice postulator for the canonization of the couple, said this, and I quote, Louis and Zelie demonstrated through their lives that conjugal love is an instrument of holiness, consummated by two persons together. This is the most important aspect of value in the family. There is an enormous need for a simple spirituality lived out in daily life. The readings for today depicts the history of God's desire to form a people who will follow Him. And two things stand out, God's faithful love and man's ungrateful response. Jeremiah's prophecy captures man's ungratefulness when he said, They obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turn their backs, not their faces, to me. From Jeremiah 7, verse 24. Jesus also encounters this hardness of heart in the gospel when he drove out a demon from a mute man. Some of the onlookers, blinded by pride and jealousy, even accused him of being an agent of the devil. Hardness of heart is not just a problem of the Israelites of old, nor the Pharisees in Jesus' time, but ours as well today. We are not an easy flock to shepherd. That is why we need the grace of Lent, for our hearts are in need of continual softening and transformation. Therefore, we need to face the challenge that the Lord gives to us today when He says, Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. From Luke 11, verse 23. And the lives of St. Louis and Zelie is a good example of a couple who, who had their hearts fixed on Jesus and were ever faithful in following Him. My dear brothers and sisters, let us reflect deeply on these questions. Am I with the Lord or against Him? Am I bearing fruit? Or am I simply wasting the soil like the barren fig tree? In Luke 13, verse 7, the key to being with the Lord is the softening of our hearts. 
Jesus speaks to us but does not force us to listen or obey. We must make the decision to respond with faith. And we conclude with the responsorial psalm of today. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Lord Jesus, your words today give us a difficult challenge, but we are comforted by your constant love and your desire to heal us from the hardness of our hearts. May we draw sufficient grace by going to confession and frequent reception of the Eucharist, that our hearts may be like your sacred heart and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.